So here we are guys at Partridge Lake Fisheries. We're on peg 22. And we've been here for about half an hour. And we've had a couple of bream already. Fishing the feeder as usual. There we go. Let's see if we can get those uh, carp feeding. So we're just in now, we've had a few casts in. We've had two bream. Lee's just got one over there. Um, we did come a couple of days back. Um, and all we had is, I think we had five bream, and we've had one 12 pound common and a six and a half pound mirror. So we've come to a different peg here. Um, we've got a couple of different baits. We've got the the Sonya bait, sticky two mils, with uh, Sensate soaked in them overnight. We've got some cubes of luncheon meat with the Sensate soaked in them. We've got a bit of ground bait, corn, so we're just trying a few different, a few different baits on the feeder as usual. The Guru Hybrid with a four inch up length. Currently, we're trying. I've not tried these for about twelve months, and these two are good. The Sticky, that's the brand Sticky. The krill wafters, the dumbbells. They're very potent. Like a like a boily but a dumbbell. They smell a bit spicy. Um just see if we can sort of try and put the bream off and get the carp feeding. Yeah, that's what we're on. Um we're at Partridge Fisheries. The mic wasn't working earlier on. Uh, well, it was working. We forgot to turn it on. Um, so you might have missed that. We're at Partridge Fisheries on the whole Bar Lake on Peg 22. Just get a few touches then. So we'll see how we get on and uh, we'll come back later. So what have we got today? We've got some walkers. We've got a Twix, we've got a Snickers, a can of Red Bull, and we bought some milk because uh, we did have a, a nice hot flask with some tea bags. Um, but when we got here, we decided to drop it on the floor. And it's uh, it's shattered. So we've got no uh, hot water for our cup of tea, but we're going to give it an hour, and I think we're going to go down to the cafe. Got a couple of bacon butties or something like that, um, and a cup of tea just to warm us up because it has been freezing. As you can see, it's windy. Um, it's not so bad with, without the wind, it's got a bit of a chill on, and we've had a couple of nice bream, I don't think the carp have uh, started feeding yet, been in a few different places and just, just, just having a bream, a couple of roach and perch uh, between us, um, yeah, so I'm going to tuck into my crisps here. It's normally get some uh, feeding and the rod bending round halfway through your butty or your, your food.
Another nice little beam. Ugh. There we go. Nice beam. That was on the pepper army again. Just a little cut of the, the red packet pepper army. Another nice uh, bream. He likes a squid and quill. So I've just been to the on-site cafe at Partridges. Partridges. We've got a, a cheeseburger and chips. Mmm. A coffee. A can of coke. And uh, a chocolate cream donut. A little bit of salt. Some ketchup. Hoping these fish don't give me a chance to eat it. And we can have some big ones. Partridge fisheries. <laughs> Lovely jubbly, as James Atkins would say. Keeping my eye on that rod, we've we'll just put it back out. We've got the Sonia Bates squid and krill, some freshly prepared pellets, and we're on two of the Fuka wafters, the pink wafters. And that'll do for the ketchup. Ah. 
a pink and a green freaker. It's not a bad size, actually. Two and a half, I'd say, that one. As you can see, we're in the middle of the Arctic, 100 mile an hour winds and a chilly breeze. We've had quite a few bream between us now. Um, the other Lees had a, a nice six and a half pound mirror, a couple of perch and roach. Um, and we're still hunting for the cart. I've not had one yet. And I think we're on about, uh, we're out looking, hang on, about 2 o'clock I'd say, I think. Oh, 20 to 3 it is. And we've been here since 8 o'clock, half past 8. <coughs> I've not had my first carp yet. Um, it was like this on, a, on Wednesday when we came. Um, bream all day and then a couple of carp towards the end. It just doesn't look like the feeding. We've tried all different baits, we've tried the fukas, we've tried luncheon meat, we've tried luncheon meat soaked in the fuka sensei. Um, I've also tried pepper army, maggots, uh, pellets on the pellet band. We've tried the F1 pellets soaked in sensei overnight. We stick it to we stick it to your mills. And now we're on the krill and the squid sticky two mils. So do you know we have tried a fair a fair few baits. I've been in the margins, I've been in the middle, I've been over to the islands. I'm currently on the, the far island at the moment, on probably about six inches away from the side, from the bank. I'm just hoping to wake up a little bit and we can get a couple of rewards. <clears throat> so we've just had our dinner, we've had a cheeseburger and chips, and we've got a nice cream cake for afters. Can't wait to have that one, Lee's laughing at me now. You've got to have a good dinner when you come fishing, especially at Partridge Fisheries. Got a nice on site cafe. Lots of uh, options to choose from. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm hoping we can get a couple of nice ones before we pack up for home. Uh, I'm not 100% what time we're staying till yet, but the gates don't close till 8, so we'll, uh, we'll have to see. First carp of the day, we think. Could be wrong. Just fighting a little bit then um, when I first had him. Play him nicely.
Oh, definitely a carp, Lee. Definitely a carp. Get in the net. <sighs> nice mirror. Five pound Lee. Come here, you come on, kid. Calm down. <clears throat> it's a jumpy one. Lovely mirror. That was the first calf of the day, guys. Feels like it. Straight in the bag. There we go. Perfect. In the middle of the Arctic Ocean.
Get some salt on. Get in the net. This is a beauty. Seven six five. <sighs> Come and get your phone, Lee. There you go guys, nice mirror, seven and a half pound. Beautiful. <sighs> On the pink ringers. So not a bad day at all guys, we started off uh, catching the bream. Must have had about six or seven bream before the carp started feeding. Um, didn't start feeding until probably about two o'clock, half past two. We've had a couple of nice commons and mirrors, as you've seen in the video. Uh, we've come to partridges today in Warrington with uh, Lee Garner as well. He's just on the peg next to me. Um, it just seems to start waking up now. A few, few nice ones in the last hour. So we're gonna start packing away at half past six, and it's now probably quarter to something like that, ten to six. Having bites already, we've only just got it back in. Um, hopefully, we can get another couple just before we go. Yeah, it's been a great day there. The weather's not been brilliant, it's been windy, really cold on the back.
tried to put the brolly up, but it's just just too windy. And yeah, guys, it's Partridge Lakes in Warrington. We're on Holbar. We're getting twitches and bites here, guys. Holbar Fisheries. Sorry. Holbar Lake, Partridge Fisheries. And we're on Peg 20. Peg 22. <clears throat> We've been using all sorts of baits, but we had that one on uh, two pink ringers. That was a nice one. That was uh, the biggest one of today. Seven and a half. On our new Guru A class. We're still getting twitches, guys. That's why I'm stuttering a little bit and just concentrating on the end of the rod. On the tip. As I was saying, it was on the the new Guru A class 10 foot 10 foot feeder with the Daiwa Regal 4000 I'm not keen on that as a as a feeder reel we've only just bought it with the rod um, it's a little bit too heavy duty I think my own opinion uh, it's a little bit too big a lot bigger than me my last uh, reel so that might just be going in the cupboard might have to order a new reel but again we've had a cracking day with slow start and you know it's, it's always a bit daunting when you have a slow start thinking you're gonna blank or thinking you're not gonna have a great day uh, we've got the ducks here down below I don't know if you can see there on camera we've had a little uh, a, a more henna I think they're called been backwards and forwards all day and I've been feeding him some maggots and he keep going over there to the island back to his little chicks every time he's dropped him off to his chicks he's swimming back over again I throw an handful out and then he's back over to the island he's been doing that for the last three or four hours um, so at least the chicks have been well fed with nice fresh maggots <laughs> um, Cracking. Right guys, these fish are being a little bit camera shy. Um, so we'll see what else we can do. And if we do get any more, I'll definitely be turning the camera.